Okay, the next test we'll look at is called the supine impingement test. This test is effective to rule out the presence of impingement syndrome in the shoulder. And typically it's a positive test if the patient complains of pain with the test. We start with the patient in a supine position. Let's have you lie on your back. So if the patient laying on his back, you'll take the patient's wrist. Make sure you start with the patient with the shoulder in external rotation. And then you're going to grasp at the wrist and the forearm. Take them into full extension, typically 170 degrees. And then, at presently the patient should not have discomfort with this. And then you'll adduct the shoulder, so the upper arm will be touching the ear. Still, they shouldn't have discomfort with this. And then you will internally rotate the shoulder, and this will typically elicit discomfort if they have a positive impingement test. If they do not have pain with this, it's fairly safe to say you can rule out impingement syndrome. It's, um, research has shown it to be 97% uh, sensitivity with this test. Okay, so again, we start with the arm at the side. Take the wrist up. Fully extend, adduct, and then internally rotate and look for a complaint of pain in the superior aspect of the shoulder. And that's the supine impingement test.